Makeup Geeks, I have a tutorial video for you today, but it's a three in one. I love doing these videos so much because for me personally, I'm so busy and I wanna just have quick and easy looks that I can do with just one palette. So I don't have to buy a ton of different things and use what I have. So the palette I'm using today is the Makeup Geek Champagne and Rosé. It's a, an inexpensive palette. It's $20, it's um, eight really good sized pans right here. And really quick, let me show the swatches of this palette. All right, so let's get started with three different looks using the Champagne and Rosé palette. All right, so for our first look, I know I have my brows and foundation and all that. I mainly wanna do the eyes and the lips with this look. That way you guys know what to wear with it. Um, I'll list below what foundation and blush I'm wearing. It's all Makeup Geek stuff, not the foundation. That's in the works, you guys. But you guys know I love that Dermablend foundation. <laughs> I feel like every video, I feel like Vanna White like holding it up like this is my foundation. All right, so we're going to take the Champagne and Rosé palette. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush. It's this guy right here. And I like using this one because I can get in at a tip. I'm gonna actually use this to do kind of a cut crease. So I'm gonna go in with the color Berries. And let me show you this color. It's a really pretty um, like cherry red color. It's almost like if you guys liked Mars from the Manny palette, it's kind of similar to that one there. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna take the tip of that brush, go into berries, and we're just going to, I'm gonna look straight ahead, and I'm gonna find my crease. And I'm just going to do a windshield wiper motion like this, but at the tip of the brush, not flat. And then I'm going to bring it up at the sides, out like this, just a little bit. Okay, now to blend this crease up, now I'm gonna switch it to going flat, same color, and now I'm gonna flip it upside down so the color placement is like this, because I want to blend the color upwards. Do you see how I'm focusing on the outer part of the eye? and I'm just pulling it up a little bit to kind of blend it out. So dip the brush in like this, flip it upside down, brush up. Now we're gonna take just a um, dome brush like this. This is the It Cosmetics one, the Chic Eyeshadow Brush. I'm gonna go in with Rosé. It's kind of like cupcake, but a little bit deeper. And what I'm gonna do is blend up here, that pink to get that gradient going. And I'm gonna bring it up pretty far, pretty close to the brow bone. Now the next step is to go back in with that foiled eyeshadow brush. Now we're gonna go in with Bubbly. It's a really pretty soft peach color with a gold shimmer to it. Let me show you all what that looks like. So we're gonna put this on the lid. So take that flat shader brush or the foiled eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna put this on the lid. If you wanna do a cut crease and take a base to cut that out to make it super, super sharp, you can, but I'm trying to save steps and make these a little bit easier. So as long as you kept that um, pink in the crease, you should be fine putting this on the lid. Now the final step for the eyeshadow part is just to take a small dome shop, dome brush like this. This is the Makeup Geek Outer V one. I'm gonna go in with Wine Barrel. Do you like the names in this palette? feel like after this, I should be having some wine. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take just that nice kind of um, neutral tan color. We're gonna put this under the lower lash line just because I want a little bit of depth under there, a little bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna bring it out here to join with the burgundy that we put down. Right there. Now what I'm gonna do is just apply the Makeup Geek Mischievous Lashes. These are three quarter lashes. When they're set on the outer edges, it kind of elongates the look of the eye because I want you to be able to see the center of the lid. Let me just set them down so you can see. But you guys know how to put on false lashes at this point. If not, Google that chisnet. It's all over the, it's all over the internet. Oops, I'm just gonna glue them down and show you after. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the lashes on. These are what they look like. Do you see how they're three quarter lashes? So it, it makes my eyes look more angular. Why am I doing this? I feel like I should be doing like a 70s dance. <laughs> Anyways, this step is optional because you guys know I'm extra. I mean, come on, look at me right now. 
But if you wanna add a little bit of glitter to the look, I'm actually really loving these from Urban Decay. It's their heavy metal glitter. They've had them forever, but this is the color volume. It's kind of a burgundy color. But what I'm gonna do is I started, I practiced it on this side, guys, while I was waiting for my lash glue to dry, because you guys know I have no patience. So you can put just a really thin layer of that in that crease if you want. Oh, I feel like it makes it, it bumps it up a little bit, you know what I mean? Just like that. Now for the lips, I wanna keep it so easy because yes, I know the eyes are very dramatic. So I'm just gonna apply um, Makeup Geek Lipstick in Shy. It's one of my favorite ones. It's just a really good everyday color. It's a nice rosy, your lips but better color. Lady is snoring so loud, jeez. You guys hear that on the camera? <laughs> She's like a grizzly bear. So there you go. I know I started dramatic first with the first palette, but this is look number one. So let's go on to look number two. Okay, for look two, I'm gonna try to tone it down a little bit because the first look was a little bit dramatic, but I wanted to start off with that. So, do you guys like my bun? I feel like, you know how some girls just look so cute with a bun? They're so effortless. They just like throw it on top of their head. You're like, oh, that's so cute. Me, when I try wearing a bun, I feel like the grandma from Looney Tunes. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The grandma with the little glasses. She's got like the little high collar shirt on. That's me, but I hope you guys appreciate the grandma the grandma tribute that I've got going on right now. <laughs> All right, so we are going to take that dome um, brush that I used in the last look, same one, anything that you guys want to kind of just buff out a smoky eye. I'm actually gonna do a shimmery smoky eye. I'm gonna use sangria, because I haven't used this color yet. Let me show you what it looks like. Yeah, lady, oh yeah, snores from lady. So that's what it looks like. It almost has a dual chrome effect. It kind of has a copper and a, a pink sheen to it. I don't know if you're picking that up there. So we're going to put that all over the lid. So sangria. And I'm just going to do a bronze all over the lid. Super easy, super pretty. All right, now wipe off that same brush. We're gonna go in with wine barrel and put this in the crease. I'm just going to Put it above that bronze shimmer. If you feel this is too dark for you, if you have um, porcelain skin or fair skin, instead of doing this color, you could do rose, the pink instead, that would be fine. I'm gonna wipe it off again. Now I'm gonna go in with sweet cream. And it's just a really pretty vanilla color. This is, I use this under the eyes. This is probably my go-to color for everything, like cleaning up, uh, highlighting under the brow bone, putting under the tear duct under the tear duct, what did I say? Under the lash line to clean up everything. It's getting late, you guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> so just buff that out. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with a really small dome brush. I'm gonna go in with berries and put it under here. Now, if you feel like you're afraid of wearing bright pinks under the lash line, you can go in with Merlot instead if you want a brown. I just wanna add a little pop of color. I'm gonna go over it with um, Sangria anyways. So let me put that kind of cherry color under here. Just like that, it just adds a bit of color. Okay, now the final step for this one is wipe off that brush and then go in with bubbly. And we're just gonna put this in the inner tear duct. It's just a really pale um, pinkish color with gold. And I'm putting that in there. Do you see how it just makes my eyes pop a little bit? And then all you have to do is add your mascara and then we'll do the lips. Okay, so eyes are done. The lip that I'm going to use, I'm gonna do a bold lip because I'm filling it with the grandma bun here and the nice like very neutral eyes. I think a bold lip is really fun. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Lipstick and Clumsy. I hope grandmas out there don't get offended. I know I made a comment before about grandmas and someone got upset. There is nothing wrong with being a grandma. We are probably all gonna be one at some point. I just gotta, I gotta, Go lightly, make fun of myself sometimes because life is short, you know. Okay. What do you guys think of that bright lip? Mm, yes, I'm feeling this look. I'm liking a bold lip for 2019, you know, that's what I'm trying to focus on. All right, so that is a look number two. Let's go on to look number three. All 
All right, now for our third look. Excuse this lady snoring as usual. <laughs> so I'm just gonna prep the eyes really quick with sweet cream, and I'm just gonna use a dome-shaped brush like this one and pull it in. And I'm just going to set this down as a base. I like putting just a matte shadow down to kind of capture any oil that goes on on my lids. And I haven't really been using primers lately. I've just been doing this step. So I put like a little foundation on the eyes um, if I can. I'm gonna come in under here a little bit too, just to brighten it. I love this color. It's just a really good vanilla color. Okay, so now we're gonna do the tape method, which I've done a million times before, but I just want to do it for this one because I want to do a cat eye effect. I'm not going to do anything under the eyes. Shocking. I know. You guys know I always smudge something under there. So take a couple pieces of scotch tape, put them on the back of the hand just so they're not as sticky because I don't want it to take off my foundation underneath. And I'm just lining it up along the lower lash line and bringing it out past the brow. That's kind of a good angle for me. You guys angle it however you want. If you want it to be more dramatic, have it go wider down, whatever you prefer. Okay, so now we're going to actually take a lipstick. So I have the Makeup Geek lipstick case. I'm gonna go in with Risqué, which is like a nice deep color. We're gonna actually use this as a base. So let me show you what it looks like. Do you see how it's like a really deep plum color? So this step is optional. If you guys don't have time and you're in a hurry for work and you don't wanna do this, you can skip it. But I like adding cream bases underneath just as an extra, it gives it more depth and dimension. So all I'm gonna do is take a brush like this. This is a Makeup Geek Smoky Eye Brush, but any sort of like dome, small dome brush, I'm just going to feather it on top of that lipstick. And then what I'm going to do is come along the tape right out here and I'm going to feather it in. I'm gonna stay under the crease for the most part and just feather it in and it's up to you how far in you want that kind of plum color to go so now that i have this part down i know it looks crazy because there's some color on the tape this is the tape so when i take it off just trust me, just give me a minute. <laughs> okay, go in with a crease brush like this. We're gonna go in with Rosé, which is a really pretty pink color. I wanna do the crease next so I can really blend out this cream base. So what I'm doing is going above that plum color and I'm gonna focus a lot of it on the outer part of the eye and just blend it upwards. And you guys can go as far up as you want. If you wanna go all the way up to the brow, you can. If you like to keep that blank, wherever you feel like. Now I can go in with a small dome brush and we're gonna go in with berries and we're going to put this on top of that base. And like I said earlier, if you guys don't want to put the base down, if you don't like a lot of depth or if you don't want the color to be super bright, then skip that first step and just go with this instead but I really love a nice deep magenta color. I think it's so pretty. And do you guys see how I'm just doing this windshield wiper? I'm going back and forth and blending it sideways. So start out here on the tape, put most of the color there. And then as you come inwards, just blend it in. All right, now the next step is to take the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush. It's just a really flat, dense brush. And what I'm gonna do is pick up Bubbly. And if you have deeper skin, instead of doing Bubbly, I would do uh, maybe Sangria or Champagne instead. But if you have fair skin, go in with Bubbly. So I'm gonna pick up some of that on the brush. And you can put it on dry if you want, or if you want it to be really metallic, wet it. So I'm gonna take just the Aesthetic Arts Petal of Dew Mist, and I'm just gonna spray it on there so it's a little wet and I'm gonna put this on the inner part of the eye. Okay, now the final step for this one is apply a liquid liner. I'm gonna use um, the Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner. Someone at Ulta actually um, told me about this one and she was like, oh, it's really good. I haven't tried it. Um, I started using it lately and it actually has a really good eyeliner. Hold on, I'm gonna need a mirror for this one. 
So what I'm gonna do is start on the upper lash line. It's really pigmented, I like this one a lot. So I'm gonna do kind of a baby wing. I don't wanna do too much just because my eyes are getting a little bit more hooded these days. So I'm gonna start about two thirds of the way in and then connect it to the tape and then I can run it up alongside the tape and kind of create like a little mini triangle for a wing. Now that that step is done, we can pull off the tape. And do you see how it gives a really crisp line like that? Then you can go back in with that dome brush and just kind of clean up under here. I'm not gonna put anything under the lower lash lines today. Hold on, let me touch up the crease. Do you see how I need to blend a little bit more right there? So just go in a little bit more with rosé, that pink color. Just blend over that. Okay, so now we can do the lashes. I'm gonna use the ones today I haven't shown you guys yet or the Makeup Geek Fearless ones. These are more dramatic lashes, but I feel like since the eyes are so bright and dramatic, they can handle this. So I'm gonna put those on and come right back and show you what we'll do with the lips. Okay, while these lashes sit, because this glue takes forever <laughs> before I set those down, let me show you what I'm gonna do for the blush. I know I said I wasn't gonna do blush on this video, but what I've been wearing for this whole video is Makeup Geek Main Squeeze. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I take the Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush because it's my favorite brush. And what I'm gonna do is just put this on the apples of my cheeks a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more highlighter too. So just do a little bit of that on the cheeks, just cause I wanna add color to my face. Since the eyes are so bright, I don't want my face to look blank. And then for the highlight, I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Rekindle. It's really pretty champagne color. Actually, let me show you guys what it looks like. Do you see that shine on that? On the back of my hand, so pretty. So I'm just gonna take a cheek highlighter brush and just dust the, uh, the tops of the cheekbones. Yes, lady, she's tired. She's getting those good snores in. <laughs> now for the lips, I'm going to line the lips. I'm gonna use that Makeup Atelier Paris lip pencil in number CL1. Just any sort of nudie pink color will work. So I'm just going to line the lips. And then I'm gonna apply the Makeup Geek Showstopper Cream Stain in the color Quick Step. It's a really pretty pinky nude color. It's just a good one for every day. And then if you want a little bit of gloss, I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. That's another nudie pink one. We have the Makeup Geek Healing Lip Glazes. I keep forgetting to ask my team to send me more. I don't know where mine went. I had two and I don't know if I left it in a purse or whatever. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna use this one. Just a nice creamy kind of gloss. I like these because they're not sticky. Ooh la la. All right, let me slap these lashes on. <laughs> okay, then that is it for the third and final look. What do you guys think? I like this palette a lot, but I love pinks, obviously. I'm always wearing pink. So anyways, you guys, I'll uh, list the links below to that palette if you guys wanna check it out. I love showing you different ways to wear one item so you don't feel like you have to constantly go out and buy all this makeup that you can just find new ways to use what you already have. So thanks for watching, you guys. I will see you next Monday for another makeup video. Talk to you soon. Bye.